Hello everyone, it is an honor for us to be part of this conference. Our team is conformed by Elkin Samuel and who speak Wilder. We are going talking about a new didactical model called Gain Action Competences. So we are going to speak introduction, methods, results, conclusion, and reference. Thanks for the research group called Grikafte. Today, children practice sports in clubs or academics, and the space to practice in free time in any space as decreed. So, deliberate practice as reduced, and in fact, it affects and talent development. So, the responsibility of learning the sport belongs to the coach, but some these trainers have academic knowledge, others have only experience without support scientists. But some coach look for receipts to teach the game and replay technical exercise. In our context, Colombia, using traditional teaching, teaching models. The learning of technical skills is a central component in the traditional teaching process of the football. This conventional conception considers from the logic that controlling the ball in the game guarantees the performance. Then, kicking, dribbling, passing as technical skill will be transferred to game performance. In this way, soccer is taught a direct instructional didactical model. The traditional conception considers that the coach knows everything and that he must transmit the knowledge, especially in technical skills. But is knowledge really transmitted or knowledge is constructed based on the experience of each player? But ball control does not guarantee performance. So question arises about gay complexity, social aspects, motivational transfer of technical skills. But it is necessary to remember other important component, tactical. Tactical behavior requires the player to make decisions and solve the problems that arise in the game. The idea of starting with the teaching of tactical principles only after the child develops abstract thinking is supported by a wrong concept of tactic, tactics. Tactical behavior is present in every game. Tactic has partial objective, dispute, opposition, according to Riera. Yes, tactical behavior is present in every game, since a child plays. He confronts multiple situations that require cognitive involvement to make the better decision during the game. On the other hand, tactical behavior is very important complement of the technical sport games, so these are equal important. In consequence, today we are different teaching games models, for example, teaching game for understanding, play practice, tactical decision learning models. These models are, are called games-based approach because refers to the learn center teaching and coaching practice. The models are based on theories like constructivism, cognitive learning, and situative learning. 
These models are mainly born in schools and then there we take into extracurricular training. In Colombia, we have had little resonance. So the principal model is the direct instruction with a competitive orientation. The question about how should we teach it is an, an open question. It is a controversial and the debate between direct instruction and game-centric didactical models. Today, we can confirm the superiority of the models. It is necessary to make more research in physical education and the competitive context. So we created a new model called Game, Game Action Competence with a empirical evidence in environment competitive. Uh, this research in the tactical performance index, motivation and perception of tactical ability in children, technical performance in children too, positive perception in children, creativity in women, children too, and make decision for, for young basketball players. So, the didactical model of the game action competence could be a good alternative for learning cognitive procedure and attitude competence for football practice. This new didactical model is based on constructives and we have five, uh, five didactical strategies. For example, a small sign game, sequencing game, situations one versus one, and technical skills, full games. So the objective is to deter determine the learning effects of the didactical model of game action competence versus didactical model of direct instruction on performance tactical performance in children football players. We have a random control try in parallel. Thirty seven children took part in this study. They are practiced regularly soccer or football and according to the participant classification framework, this corresponds to tier 2. They are training and development. We have only group, uh, after random two group, experimental and control group, we made the pretest. After intervention during 16 week, weeks and Posters. This was the intervention for each group. This is an experimental group. Small sign games, psychocinetic games, they are games of cooperation without opposition that generate cognitive dissonance. Situation 1 versus 1, technical skillful games and it represents the percentage in the class and the control group uh, technical skills simulated game situation and full games according the scientific literature this was the contents in the different sessions general principles operationals and fundamental principles according to Costa. We made the pretest and post-test with the system of tactical assessment in football. It is a small side game, three against three players and each team with goalkeeper. We respect 
ethical aspect of research with children. We check the normal distribution tests after leaving tests, a student for the comparison between the groups and effect size we calculated. It is the flow diagram of the progress of the phases of the parallel random try of two groups. We started with the 37 ch um, children and we finished with the same participants. In the results, two groups are similar in the base, baseline characteristics, for example, age an 8 without uh, significant differences and tactical performance we we find an uh, important difference and the experimental group the performance are between 40 and 50 percent and the control group the performance was 30 and 40 percent we found significant difference, for example, in game, in game performance tactics and offensive and defensive. In the offensive, offensive principles, we find difference in penetration, offensive coverage, deep mobility. And the defensive performance we don't find uh, difference in delay defensive coverage defensive balance concentration defensive unit we don't find differences in this study the new model improved the tactical performance after 16 seasons so it is necessary to reply this study uh, in increasing the frequency training and it is necessary to compare uh, with other teaching games model for example teaching game for understanding and other model to promote the intelligent and creativity performance this on reference thank you very much for your pay attention